Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. I am still Shadow 33, and this is a match between Google Frog and Banana Eye on Cooper Hill. So, Cooper Hill is a map that, as you can very clearly see, has a lot of reclaim. Banana Eye going very quickly for Cloaky Bots, Google Frog, on the other hand, going very quickly for Metal Extractors and Light, ve light Vehicles? I should point out that this map is very hilly. There's not an easy path for Light Vehicles to take around the map, but Google Frog. He does have a bit of an advantage over Banana Eye. As you can see, Banana Eye has 300 LO down on Google Frog. So, Google Frog is probably handicapping himself a little bit in this case. Though, the fact that he's going for Slashers leads me to believe that he might not be. Interestingly, neither player are going for a great deal of Constructors to do Reclaim. Both of them are going for fairly standard 1v1 strategies. Cooper Hill is not a map that standard 1v1 strategies are necessarily a great idea on. A Google Frog is going for a fair amount of Reclaim, however. But, you can actually do quite well building a two or three workers in place of your opening metal extractors and then just reclaiming like mad. I'm rather surprised neither player is doing this. But that ends the break. So both players going for fairly standard 1v1 builds. Google Frog going for fairly standard opener for light vehicles using slashers as defenders. And gla three glaive opening for cloaky bots is pretty much as vanilla as it comes. But Banana Eye is doing a pretty decent job as a harassment on that. Getting rid of one of the slashers, but overall... Not the best trade for cost. He would have loved to have get, gotten at least one metal extractor, probably all three. But unfortunately for him, he only managed to kill one slasher. He is building a few more glaze, but at this point, Banana's economy is pretty dead in the water. And very quickly going for Zeus. What? What is Banana doing? I, I'm not sure why he's going for Zeus at two minutes into the game. You don't usually do that. I mean, with the reclaim, you can if you had built three or four... Constructors beforehand are using them to reclaim everything. And a Mason being built up for Google Frog, but... Like I said, Google Frog is going for reclaim. Banana is pretty much not. I'm very surprised that this map is more than enough reclaim to essentially make any reclaim-based strategy work for a good period of time. And Google Frog has to worry about Banana's units coming around the side. I'm not sure if he's fully aware of that happening. I think he's probably more or less aware. He does have radar over the area. He has radar coverage, so he's... Aware that there's something there from Banana. He, he knows it's a Glaive because he saw it come through. And another Glaive coming in the back. Getting rid of the Radar Tower. And now get able to get some effective harassment going. Able to get rid of a Metal Extractor. And unfortunately for him, not in a good position to avoid the Slasher Fire. He tried, but he didn't quite get behind it enough. I guess he was trying to avoid all the Slashers, which definitely a good idea. But still risky to do. And Google Frog making up for the fact that he's playing vehicles by terraforming the center of the map. Not sure if he's trying to level out the entire thing or just flatten it so it's easier for them to cross. Or possible for them to cross to begin with. Let's double check this actually. I think... No, it's easier, but it was always possible. Setting up a nice little ramp there. So the Slashers have center map control and Zeus... Okay, the Zeus actually managed to be built in a decent amount of time. That is good. Because the thing with the Zeus that I was concerned about is that it's not. It's going to take a while to build. It's certainly a good unit for dealing with Slashers. It has the, energy, it has the health, it has the EMP, but it's just... It takes a while to get one. As you can see, this is going to take half a minute, which, when you consider that this is only three minutes in the game, that's that's about a sixth of the... well, a seventh of the game now that it's going to take for this thing to be built. Given that there's no workers helping out, there's no workers doing reclaim or anything like that, still, surprisingly, no constructors doing reclaim for him. And this mason here is still trying to get some decent economy on... other than reclaim, metal extractors and such. Surpri I'm still quite surprised that neither player has gone heavily for Reclaim. Just given this map, given all the rocks, given all the trees... I mean, each of these rocks, each one of these rocks, or two of these rocks is three glaives. So it's right there from Nana. And Google Frog coming around the side with darts. Going to do a bit of harassment of his own, and that... Won't do too much. It's basically just scouting. I guess he wasn't going for harassment. But he does know exactly what Banana is up to. Banana doesn't really know what Google is up to, but he probably has figured it out. Not much has changed since the last time Banana... Checked it out, but a cop car, or cap car, I should say, is being built. Dominatrix. Rather unique light vehicle. We'll talk about it if the game actually gets that long, but basically, it it takes units in, and Google Frog about to lose his commander, though. But anyway, it captures units, puts them under control. Google Frog loses his commander as the Zeus that killed it goes down as well, and that kills Google Frog's energy economy completely dead. He has no energy income whatsoever. I was about to point that out, actually. I was noticing that he had no power plants, focusing entirely on the energy cell. And now focusing on Reclaim to get himself back on track, getting this Dominatrix built up. And Banana's Commander, on the other hand, does have a 
actually is a Commander Junior, has no energy cell, has no upgrades whatsoever. Ban is going for very vanilla option there. And also getting rid of this dart with, or trying to get rid of dart with a hammer. Unfortunately, hitting his own solar collector in the process. And Google Frog is going to get rid of this metal extractor with help from Banana. Banana, bad idea to kill your own units. Admittedly, hammers are not a great base defense. He's using them because he wants to get through these slashers. Honestly, a better idea than the Zeus's. The Zeus's are not a terrible idea, but let's see. Hammers are 120 metal compared to the Zeus's, 350. So yeah, hammers are about a third of the cost of Zeus's. That means a third of the time to build. It means you get three for the price of one, effective. Well, three in the time it takes to build one Zeus. But a Dominatrix is up. Another reason why Zeus's are a bad idea, because the Dominatrix grabs that. Well, that's a ton of time that's just wasted. That's 35 seconds of your build time out the door, used against you. Now, Rector's being built up for Banana. Not sure he's going for Reclaim. He is rebuilding the Metal Extractors. Not going for Reclaim instead. I'm frankly kind of surprised by this. And we do see that Google Frog coming around the side with the Slashers. Now, the Hammers are aware of this coming in, but the Slashers are going to be... Well, they need to get in a position, and these Hammers do have a chance right now to get these Slashers as they pull into position, but now they are still threatened. Now, these now the Slashers do have a shorter fire range than the Hammers. The Hammers can kill the Slashers, but now the Rector coming under Google Frog's control, and Banana forced to kill it or kill the Domination, but probably forced to kill the Rector. Easier target. And unfortunately, these hammers still getting into the range of the slashers as they're trying to kill them. Not sure why that was allowed to happen. Possibly just automatic. Are they on roam? They are on... No, they are set to hold position. So I'm not sure what happened there. Anyway, slashers getting out of the... Well, getting into a better position. And the rector is completely Google Frog. So Google Frog... Well, not really a big deal. He has a builder on hand. Basically, that's what he has. His builder on hand, as you can see, using to repair. At the same time, Bananas Commander moving in to deal with the slashes, deal with everything Google Frog has, and Google Frog still has a really bad energy economy, so it's going to come down to this fight here. We see that the Dominatrix can capture more units, getting another Glaive, and not going down very quickly at all. Unfortunately for the Dominatrix, the only support it has is the Glaive it just captured, and Google Frog not micromanaging it at all, micromanaging the Dominatrix instead, but able to capture all of the Glaives in the process, and a Zeus being built. Why is a Zeus being built? This should not be built. Banana should be building Glaives. Because now that Zeus, it's, well... Okay, the Zeus isn't really on enemy control, but the Cloakbot factory soon will be. And Banana got rid of the vehicle factory, but it's too late now. Banana is... Well, he got... Chose to have the Cloakbot factory self-destruct before it got captured by the Dominatrix. Trying to rebuild inside of a Google Frog's base instead of trying to take his own... Making sure that his own base is not captured for Google Frog's purpose, though Google Frog now does have some power economy. He does have the Solar Collector, and of course he has a ton of Reclaim on the map, so both players can take advantage of the Reclaim. Neither one is, but both players can. Actually, no. Banana is now taking advantage of it. He has taken on the Slashers, and he really does need to get another factory, though. A Spider Factory being built for Google Frog. So Google Frog does have himself a nice new setup for production. While on the other hand, Banana is not setting himself up for production at all. Setting himself up for economy instead at this point. And looks like Google Frog is not actually going for any reclaim at this point. He's going still entirely for metal extractor based economy and banana not getting rid of the metal extractors here instead getting a stinger why is he getting a high he's getting a stinger for no reason this doesn't make sense it okay stop stopping the stinger that's good because the stinger does not make sense see the thing with the stinger is that you kind of want to have it center of the map or near your opponent's base when it's an opportune time either they're attacking you or it's kind of vulnerable and you can just use that as additional artillery having it as a defense especially when you only have six metal income that is a terrible option. The best option is the factory, which now Banana is building. Or metal extractors, because at this point he kind of needs them. Glaive's coming in from Banana to get rid of what is left of Google Frog's metal extractors. Make sure that he has as little economy as possible. Slowing him down, which is actually kind of nice. It keeps his factory at a minute. So both players, their factories will take about the same time to complete. The Bananas will complete a little bit sooner. And Google Frog losing all of his economy in the process here. But he does have a lot of units coming in. They're trying to stream in. There is a Lotus right here, though, and it is going to be able to deal with any Glaives that come in to try to attack Banana's rebuild attempts. Now, Google Frog, on the other hand, he does have Erector. He does have options for Reclaim, and he is sending his Slashes back to take back what was once his. Well, as we can see, the Glaive here for Banana, trying to fight against two of Google Frog's Glaives. Not the best idea, but Google Frog is not choosing to attack in, and the Cloakabot Factory about to be completed... 10 seconds left for that, with another 10 seconds left for the Spider-Bot factories at this point. 
Google Frog will likely start building a bunch of fleas and then just try to use those to get in, though he might instead go for venoms initially. It'd be weird if he did that. At this point, it'd be actually kind of silly. But fleas... No, he's actually going to go for venoms. That's an interesting choice. In fact, where is he getting the money for these venoms? I'm... I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, apparently the stats display is actually being wrong because... There must be reclaim or something around here that is allowing that venom to be built at any speed. Okay, now it's slowing down. Now it makes more sense. But there must have been reclaim that wasn't mentioned up here for whatever reason. And another Zeus coming in. Banana has enough economy once again. I'm not sure how by reclaim or what. But he doesn't... Okay, now his economy is more what it looks like. He should only have four metal and a scythe instead. Sorry, sorry, scythes are coming up. Those are actually quite useful. They will be able to walk up to the slashers and just cut them open, destroying them pretty much in one, maybe two hits. But in both cases, neither player has much of an economy. Google Frog does have a venom up, and my guess is he's going to go around, try to just stun the commander, and then tear it apart with slashers. That will get rid of, well, Banana's build power more than anything. Now, the scythe has a really tough choice. It needs to be careful. It needs to. Probably get rid of the Venom now at this point first, before getting rid of these Slashes, but unfortunately the lack of energy by Banana means that this Cloaking Field is not staying up. The Venom could take out the Scythe without dealing any damage, and Google Frog probably aware of what's going on here with the Scythe. Though he might not be. Usually it'll automatically say Scythe, a little marker that'll pop up, but... Google Frog probably aware that there is a Scythe going on, and Banana just trying to build enough of an energy infrastructure to make sure that the Scythe does not lose his Cloaking randomly. Because as you can see, Banana's energy reserves are basically at nothing. But Google Frog is setting himself up nicely to try to deal with this. He does have he does see the scythe. It is decloaked. It is in vision. And more venoms coming in. Here we go. Google Frog is actually reclaiming at this point. He is getting five metal from the reclaim, which is good. It's building up the venoms in a decent amount of time. And one of the slashers has gone down thanks to the commander. The scythe may have helped a little bit, but definitely thanks to the commander. As more and more energy comes in, Banana will be able to start using the Scythe offensively, and at the same time Zeus is- There we go, that's the Zeus I was thinking was being built before. That is being built, but... Still not quite enough. Okay, now we're finally getting enough power for the Venom able to stun the- Well, able to stun this Solar Collector long enough so that the Scythe is decloaked. And the Scythe will need to get itself recloaked again, but unfortunately for him, a Venom- Or it, rather. A Venom coming in and finishing it off! This is going to be it for the Scythe, and I think the Banana- now, it's not quite ready to throw in the towel yet, but Google Frog is slowly but surely just taking this over. Taking this game over. After taking Banana's units over, and Banana doesn't have much of an economy to go with, and I'm not surprised he's going for Zeus's. I kind of would recommend Warriors to deal with the Venoms rather than Zeus's at this point, just given the amount of cash that Banana has coming in, or rather doesn't. But that is certainly something interesting and the commander is on the top priority so all the resources are going to the commander are going to this defender are being wasted unfortunately as a result of that but it is where they're going and honestly unless the commander is building economy there's really not much point in doing that because what he needs right now is more units just to deal with everything going on here and as you can see google frog does have radar at the south so google frog right now his radar coverage is pretty much complete while banana is working entirely off line of sight and only has about a sixth of the map covered by his units and buildings. So he's barely aware of what's going on, but the Zeus will be able to come in, will be able to take care of the Venoms. He managed to get that out, as long as he doesn't lose it. And the Dominatrix is coming in, which will make him regret making that Zeus. That Zeus is going to be captured, and that will be game. But if he can build enough economy, he might be able to take out this Dominatrix with the Scythe, and that would turn it around. If he managed to do that, but no, then the Zeus is being captured, or possibly being captured, getting out of the way before the capture is complete. This Scythe is pretty much the only hope. If it gets close enough to that Dominatrix and takes it out, that would turn it around, but that would take, I think, two hits. No, actually, it would take four hits to do. And with the Venoms around, that's probably too risky. In fact, the Venoms wouldn't be one-shot either. So this is going to be a very tricky thing for Banana to do. He has to make sure he doesn't get hit by the... Well, or, or lose his commander to the Dominatrix, of course. But he has to make sure he doesn't get hit by the Dominatrix, and actually, the Dominatrix is focused on the commander. The Scythe does have a chance of getting around and dealing with it and it looks like Banana's going for it. it. No, he's not going for it, but the, the Venoms are going down to the commander. And he is going for it. There we go. One shot. Two shots. And... Ah, before the third shot gets in, he loses the scythe or loses control over it. 
but the commander trying to get close enough to actually deal with that dominatrix unfortunately gonna lose the scythe in the process but it did almost of his, it did three quarters of his job not quite all the job but most of it and banana's commander looks to be trying to finish that job while the Zeus comes in as support and if banana takes this dominatrix out that will eliminate a lot of what Google Frog had going for him and thankfully for banana the domination has taken a very long time to get up this slope here. Banana's command is a much easier time, but unfortunately for it, getting distracted by a lot of things, by Venoms, by Dominatrices, by... Well, admittedly, the Venoms are kind of slow coming. Very nice shot, though. I mean, he almost had it. Now, Zeus is... He is getting enough of those that he can actually start posing a bit more of a threat and getting a strong enough economy that I think he might be able to just rebuild solidly. Getting more scythes, interesting choice. Admittedly, that first one did do a pretty good job, so I'm not surprised. But it's still a bit tricky. More spider rods coming from Google Frog, but as we can see, it's going to take half a minute, or about a minute, actually about two minutes for each one. It's taking half a minute just for a fifth of its, or about a quarter of its build time. So Banana pretty much can just build up safely as economy and go from there. But this Dominatrix is still a bit of a pain. If that gets repaired, it's going to be rather difficult for him to get through that, because that scythe, that really counted for a lot. Now, on the other hand, if Banana gets up... Oh, man, if he could reclaim... If he takes advantage of all of this reclaim, this massive reclaim field, that's going to be huge. Manages to pull that off. He'd have all the economic advantage he needs. You have everything built up in no time. I mean, the sites, by default, are going to take about 25 seconds to build up if he's getting enough metal to do so. And he is taking advantage of the reclaim. That is good. I'm glad to see that. Google Frog, on the other hand... Hasn't been as much taken advantage of it. Definitely not so much for metal, but he has been for energy. As you can see, he is definitely taking advantage of that. Harvesting as many trees as he can, but not so many wrecks. And I'm still kind of surprised that their entire base here, Google Frog's entire old base, has been left just to rot. I'm honestly kind of perturbed by that. I don't know why that's the case. He really should be just doing more with that. Anyway, Banana is... Actually taking full advantage of this, and he's starting to get more and more units. So he's actually getting some rectors up, and if with that, if he gets more reclaim going, or at least use the rector to build up faster, he can get get a nice army going. Fleas being built up by Google Frog, however, and an infiltrator trying to get rid of this commander, or possibly trying to get rid of the Zeus's. Basically, infiltrators, we've seen them before, come up, they stun something for about 20 seconds, I think maybe even 40 seconds, and of course leave it a sitting duck, as stunning tends to do. And nice radar kill by the flea. Admittedly, a suicidal attack, but still, a good snipe there. Getting rid of the radar, keeping Banana stuck in a line of sight land, while Google Frog still has radar coverage of Banana's entire base. Mind you, not of his own base. Only of the radar. So, as Banana gets closer to Google Frog's base, Banana actually gets a bit of an information advantage compared to Google Frog. And it looks like Banana is closing in for the kill. Now, the Dominatrix has been healed up. There are Venoms surrounding it, but enough Zeus is... And that domination should go down fairly quickly. It's... Okay, if these Venoms go away, that'll be key. Because the Venoms are going to be distracting the Zeus's. And Scythes are coming in as well. Just to make absolutely sure this all works out. Unfortunately, one of the Dominatrices is going in for that Zeus. And that Zeus, able to get out of capture range. 86% captured, but not complete. And the Scythes finishing off the Dominatrix. That is the Dominatrix down! And Banana gets all of his units back including this Rector, most notably, so you can actually do even more reclaim. And the Zeus is now able to finish off Google Frog's base, and that is game! What a turnaround, thanks to those scythes! Holy crap. Okay, that was... That was an exciting game. So, well done to the players. So, I'll have another one for you guys shortly. Stay tuned.